And this is part of the problem, I suppose, that if then somebody was to experiment for a month and just discover that their huge monolithic application, <laughs> their huge monolithic product, where you have to deploy, you know, spend two days deploying this massive thing for a tiny little, uh, co- a tiny little code change somewhere, then maybe they'll look at it and say less isn't for them. But then in that instance, you've given them the opportunity to, to make that decision at that point rather than selling them something that perhaps wouldn't work. Yeah, I mean, if you're lucky in those organizations that you could deploy anything in two days, to be very honest, <laughs> and and while you're deploying, the entire product is down as well. Yeah. I, I remember joining an organization and my first day, uh, they were deploying something and... Um, they, were, they were still deploying on their on your last day? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one of the, the largest um, e-commerce uh, site in in UK, and it was down for three days. And I literally was shocking for three. And the, so my website was down. Don't go to anybody, do anything. And and speaking with people, say, I mean, some. I I I I, I remember I called him to a friend, and said, Hey, this is what's happening. I said, Oh, looks like you. No, he said, he called me. and said, Why is this? Web- I know you joined this. Why your website is down? Have you joined the company? <laughs> I said, Yes. <laughs> so. And I was like, uh, that was 2015. And I said, in this digital age, keeping your website down for three days is a crime. It should never happen again. Take it this way. And, but then, um, so, so, but coming back to your question, um, if you, if, if any experimentation help you generate more insight about the state of the organization, then do, you can do two things. Like we say with Scrum. Right, that 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 experimentation help you to understand your problem, and you want to solve those problem, or you criticize uh, that initiative itself. That hey, why why it's exposing those problem? Well, the problems were there. Now you realize, and then you also realize how to solve them. Now, I think um, less would make it very very. The idea of less would make it very very visible for, for most of the organization. What are their problem, and and then again it because it. it, it Depends on those organization to either say, oh, that doesn't work for us because we have so many problems, or you can say, thank you, and then let's let's go and solve those problems. And that's the uh, some of the challenge with less and other frameworks which create a lot of transparency is it shows you some things that maybe you didn't know were there. And I think that sometimes the criticism that's levied at things, not just large-scale Scrum, but I've had this levied at me in relation to specification by example as well, is that people turn around and say, well, this is just making things more complicated. <laughs> things were much simpler before. And the response to that was, my response to that has always been, well, it always was that complicated. It always right. was that complex. All this is doing is is showing you that and giving you the opportunity to either deal with it or just carry on. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. But yeah, yeah. At least it's giving you that insight and that opportunity. <laughs>